Hey guys, alright, today we are back with another alternate history hub. This time, what if America won the Vietnam War? Now, there was really no way of truly winning this war. Um, I mean, technically, it also wasn't a... It was a loss. It was a political defeat, pretty much. It was a defeat of... I guess especially at this time the assumed american military dominance um but then of course america would assert that dominance again in the 1990s with the invasion of iraq in the uh gulf war um you know won that war in what a couple months and essentially so i wrote i wrote a paper on this now i'm not a american military historian but i wrote a paper on American military doctrine and stuff um, from end of World War II and up to the 90s. I ended the paper at the end of the Gulf War because the paper was already, by that point, it was already made it six pages. <laughs> I didn't need to write more. The final was like, yo, write four to seven pages or something. No, or was it five to eight? I can't remember. It was somewhere like that. And I obviously cleared that number. <laughs> so I made my point. I didn't need to keep proving it for that paper i got an a on it by the way <clears throat> just pat myself on the back make myself feel good um but anyways essentially m the heart of american military doctrine has not changed since world war ii and it could be argued that since the end of the civil war american military doctrine also has been the same in which they use the f industrial support to produce an overwhelming amount of supplies to where they can just destroy the enemy. Um, now we see we see um, this American military doctrine. I would argue at its best, at its most effective in the Gulf War when the war was won in a sheer couple, couple or a few months, within a year. Um, now that could not be done in Vietnam. Why could the United States not use its traditional tactics to win Vietnam? The United States could not win Vietnam because. They had to divert resources into building the logistical um, ports and infrastructure in Vietnam in order to, to, to sustain the military campaign that they wanted to wage. The military campaign the United States military was pretty much trained to use. They essentially could not use their military tactic in Vietnam because while they could use it in Iraq, because in, 90, in early 90s Iraq, the ports and the infrastructure were already present in that nation for the United States to just take and use. They didn't have to divert resources to build these new ports and infrastructure. They had to pretty much build it from scrap, from, from off the ground in Vietnam. They had to divert resources from and waste time to build infrastructure just to sustain the war. Um, so that takes time, money, and resources away from where it then, from front line, or in the case of Vietnam, wherever the hell the Vietnam uh, enemy was. They could be behind you, next to you, or in front of you. Um, but what if America won the war? Go ahead and uh, find out. Now that I overly, overly simplified slash explained American military doctrine in four minutes. <laughs> Before I go on to the scenario, let me explain why I put the oh my word God, this is really quiet. in quotation marks. The Vietnam War wasn't a purely American war, even though the U.S. involved itself heavily in the 1960s and 70s. The conflict itself had been raging ever since the end of World War II, once Vietnam yeah, declared its independence oh. from France. The conflict in Vietnam can only be described as two phases, half revolution for independence and half civil war. Yep. The first part was waged against colonization 100%. by France and Japan, and then the second between the split north and south. The second phase was when the Americans became involved in a conflict which was truly more than just communist versus non-communist. That's why this title is misleading somewhat, since America would not have won the Vietnam War 
but it would have been a South Korean Oh, that's what you meant by with one. American support. Okay. So the scenario is technically, what if the South Vietnamese won their civil war and Americans gained more influence in Indochina? But that's not a very appealing title. Now that we've got yeah, that figured out, on to the scenario. <laughs> Say that's the 1960s, and the United States has sent troops into Vietnam. God, America is, is fully supporting the South Vietnamese government and has dedicated ground troops to fight the Viet Cong and NVA. How would the U.S. be able to win this intervention against the Communist North and be able to stop the spread of communism? Well, the best solution to a quick end of the North's expansion would be a full invasion of North Vietnam. Yet this is impossible as any invasion of a communist nation would automatically put America in a World War III situation with the USSR and China. Uh, yeah. The U.S. couldn't just bomb the North into submission, as history shows we did this many times in Vietnam, and they simply changed routes or used simpler technology to achieve their goals. The only way to win... Well... The bombing campaign was supposed to... was in part as part of U.S. military doctrine, and they use, and what it essentially is supposed to do, though, is supposed to disrupt enemy supply lines, uh, the morale, etc. There's a bunch of, you know, superior, f just using planes to bomb the shit out of things. It has multiple effects, and not just destroys industry, but it affects morale and stuff, all that. Um, but it's also then supposed to be followed up by military movement. You can't really move your military that much in Vietnam because of the way, one, the war was being fought. Um, you know, it took longer to really secure an area, and even then, when you thought an area was secure, it really wasn't secure, you know? Um, in the war, I think that was a was full a military of invasion of the North. Ground troops, the whole shebang. This video will have two scenarios, one where there is no threat of retaliation from the USSR and China had America fully invade North Vietnam. The second, where America is able to build a stable government in Saigon and is able to push back northern aggression to the point that the NVA and Viet Cong could no longer fight back. 1. For some reason, the USSR and Chinese simply don't care about North Vietnam, and so the US is able to invade. American troops... Yeah, I think, I think saying the Soviets wouldn't care is more reasonable than saying the Chinese wouldn't care. I think... I do believe that this would have brought... If the United States launched a full-blown invasion into North Vietnam, up towards Hanoi, close to the Chinese border, I think the Chinese would have responded just kind of like they did in uh, the Korean War. Troops quickly storm into Hanoi, overthrow the communist government, and set up a pro-American government. What would Vietnam and the world look like had America done that? Well, for one, Vietnam would have been united under American influence. The South government would have control over the North and South. American investors and contractors would come and do trade with the recently invaded North. U.S. media would declare the Vietnam War a massive success and would use it to showcase American firepower. The main threat for the U.S. Damn right and the newly united Vietnam would be a potential Chinese invasion of the North had China changed their minds about the U.S. occupation. The U.S. secretly plans for all options, including this Chinese retaliation. More resources are sent into the North, and military utilities are exchanged in the South to quell any rebellion among communist Vietnamese. This communist rebellion among the Northern Vietnamese would be a large threat to the American occupation. Communism was very popular among the rural villages, and so the countryside could harbor potential rebellions against the Americans. Many Vietnamese would liken the invading Americans to the French and would be very resentful oh, yeah. of Westerners controlling their government. Communism for the Vietnamese was a united front against colonialism, which is why Ho Chi Minh himself became a communist. For the Vietnamese, communism was not wholly... Yeah, Ho Chi Minh, originally, he did not want conflict, really, with the West. He didn't even want to fight the French. He, he wanted just to get out of it peacefully. He's like, hey... Yo, World War II's ending. Uh, we, we, we pretty much fought for our independence against Japan. Uh, without your help, could you, could you just let us be free now? And then everyone was like, no. And then 50s happen, and they rebel against the French. Because of anti-capitalist beliefs, but the simple anti-colonialism ideas expressed by communists. With this, I am assuming there will be a new resurgence in communism. 
America will have to deal with a communist rebellion. This rebellion would probably be beaten back by American firepower and resentment would still exist. This will yeah. only be temporary. Eventually, after years of occupation, probably until the mid-1970s, the Americans withdraw troops from Vietnam. This is like our timeline's Vietnamization, but instead of war, it would be bringing in more Vietnamese political power. In this scenario, Vietnam would have Western influence like that of Japan or South Korea. Its government would have ties with the Americans, and its economy would be capitalist. Whether or not this nation would prosper is up to your own opinion. Yeah. The second scenario is the Americans completely render the North Vietnamese army useless and neutralize any communist forces. This could be a massive bombing campaign and a successful shutoff of the Ho Chi Minh Trail, no matter how unlikely this would be. After this, America dedicates more resources into putting in a stable government in South Vietnam and stays invested in the region. Yeah, the South Vietnamese government was not a good government. I've seen, all from what I have heard, the South Vietnamese government was terrible. Um, you know, and it's also, again, it has parallels to the Korean War, because early on, the Korean, South Korean government was not a good government. I don't think they shifted to a real democratic government until maybe the 70s or 80s. Um, I think, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, though into our present day like Korea. North Vietnam slowly loses the gradual support from China as the Chinese build relations with the Americans and the country becomes more isolated. However, much like China's relation with North Korea, the Chinese would still sometimes back the Hanoi government against the US. North Vietnam's army is rendered useless and is unable to even put up a full-scale assault on the South. The Viet Cong is destroyed and any form of guerrilla war is ineffective against the better trained South Vietnamese forces. If anything, this scenario would play out like in Korea. Yeah. South Vietnam could gradually reform itself, becoming more and more democratic with help from the West and boosting its economy. But this is only an optimistic view. It could easily stay a dictatorship as it did in our timeline. Today, North Vietnam and South Vietnam are still separated, and the Vietnamese people wish for unification. The North is still backed by China and the South by the West. However, relations have normalized, and no larger power really wishes to jeopardize relations. Maybe North Vietnam would reflect the Vietnam today, or would it devolve into a crazed North Korean dictatorship? I'll leave you to decide. These two scenarios were one of the most accurate ways I see the U.S. could have at least had a victory in Vietnam. How do you think, if at all, the situation would have been had the Americans, quote, won the war in Vietnam? Like us on Facebook, subscribe if you have not done so. This is Cody from the Alternate History Hub. That was pretty good. Um, there's a part two to this video? No, there isn't. Um, that was What If America Won the Vietnam War. Obviously, I don't think, I agree with him that there really doesn't seem to be a realistic way as which the Americans could, I guess the South Vietnamese could truly win Vietnam and hold it. I think it would, of course, devolve into another situation. Most realistically, uh, should the South Vietnamese win, would be devolving into a situation much like Korea, where the South is pro-West and the North pro-China, pro-Soviets. Um, oh, yeah, that was alternate history hubs. What if America won the Vietnam War? I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.